New 2017 VW Atlas, Volkswagen reveals 7-seat SUV to crack America. Volkswagen Atlas full-size SUV revealed. The largest ever US-built VW is designed to enter the heart of the American market. Volkswagen has revealed its first ever 7-seat SUV ahead of its spring 2017 launch. Called the Atlas, it shoulders the mighty task of restoring brand reputation for North American customers after the damaging emissions scandal. Aimed straight for the heart of the American market, the Atlas SUV is the largest vehicle ever built by VW in America, at the brand's Chattanooga factory in Tennessee. It's 5,037 mm long and 1,979 mm wide, making it the biggest VW passenger car on sale. It's also almost 340 mm longer and 100 mm wider than sister brand Skoda's new Kodiak. However, unlike the Kodiak, the Atlas is only for release in the US at the moment. Chairman of Volkswagen America Henrik J. Woebkin confirmed to Auto Express that the Altus will be exported to the Middle East and Russia in due course, but confirmed there are no plans to launch the car in Western Europe. Best subs to buy now. VW Atlas, design. Heavily inspired by the cross blue concept of 2013, the production Atlas sits on the VW Group's familiar MQB platform. The exterior look is set to create a sense of timelessness and precision, there's a bluff front end and squared off bonnet, with VW's recognizable two bar chrome front grille and square LED headlamps. Side on the Atlas has traditional chunky SUV stance and rugged lower body cladding, while a single styling crease follows the curvature of the wheel arches all the way along the length of the car. There's a hint of Bentley Bentayga in the overall profile, too, although the bulky rear overhang is a symptom of the extra row of rear seats. The rear is similar in shape to the smaller Volkswagen Tiguan, albeit with twin exhausts integrated into the lower bumper. Volkswagen Atlas Interior. Inside, VW claims there is space for seven adults and their luggage. The rearmost seats are accessed by a clever folding mechanism in the second row that, apparently, works even when child seats are in place. The rest of the simple and minimalist cabin will be familiar to any current Volkswagen owners. The center console features the brand's latest car net system, with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and Mirror Link Tech. Options include VW's digital cockpit configurable instruments and 12-speaker Fender audio system. Volkswagen Atlas, Engines and Safety The Atlas is said to be the only SUV in its class to get automatic post-collision braking as standard, while the available suite of active safety tech includes adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, front assist autonomous braking, rear cross-traffic alert, lane keep assist and self-park assist. At launch two powertrains will be offered on the Atlas. There's a 2.0-liter direct injection TSI turbo petrol with 234bhp or VW's 3.6-liter naturally aspirated six-cylinder VR6 with 275bhp. Both units are mated to an eight-speed automatic gearbox, with either front or four-wheel drive. No fuel economy or performance figures have been released yet. The original Cross Blue concept debuted with an ultra-efficient diesel-electric hybrid powertrain, but given recent events have severely tainted the image of diesel in the US it's understandable that it didn't make production. However, bosses have confirmed they are looking into the possibility of developing a conventional hybrid power unit for the Atlas. Prices are yet to be announced, too but Volkswagen claims the range will kick off at a price designed to draw customers' attention in the family SUV segment. Expect that to be roughly in line with rivals such as the Ford Explorer and Honda Pilot.